before the rain. It's a little bit cloudy and a little bit cold today here in St. Louis. And before our communion video that talks about God's faith gift, I need to remind you a few things that I have videoed before. Remember the three Greek words, faith, believe, and trust. They all three have the same Greek root or basic word. Faith is a noun that is God's gracious gift. Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 through 10. And notice the two signs that make up the faith sign. Believe and trust are action words coming out of God's gift. James chapter 2 verse 17. And he designed you to do the good works that he created you to do. But grace comes first and saves you. Yes, God commands belief and he will save you. Acts chapter 16 verse 31 But understand, God gave faith already, and now he commands faith to come out in action, the action of belief and trust. But the devil's lie spreads, and he deceives many to teach his lie like our our cover picture shows. Yes, the lie the lie is you have faith already that's yours in you and First, your faith must act. That all ignores God's truth that talks about sin. Romans chapter 11, verse 32. Clearly, God's mercy his grace must come first again his that devil's lie and their words that support that lie shows in our cover picture All of that relates to our thinking about communion and God's gracious faith gift pa.
Yes, thinking about communion. This Sunday, Jesus talks about a small faith in a survey two-thirds of those people said that before God responds with grace first their faith is already in them that must approach God then his grace acts Also, 71% of those people believe that they must do things to help God save them. People get those wrong ideas because they believe the Bible's interpretation depends on their understanding and smarts. So faith depends on their actions and God's word, the meaning, agrees with their wise thoughts. I wonder, who did God talk with to get advice when he before making the world when he chose you in Christ. Ephesians chapter 1 verse 4. Notice that before people were here, God decided to save people. All people. All people and now people think that they help God save them wow that means God depends on us notice in the Old Testament God made promises depending on himself Hebrews chapter 6, verse 13 and 14. Why? Because you were not there for him to depend on you? Yes. There was no one that he could depend on. God's grace gifts faith, and that depends on him the creator, the life giver, the one that designed you to do the things that he wants you to do during life. Ephesians chapter 2 verses 8 through 10. Now suppose God commands us his small faith gift focuses on Christ's power as enough his faith will respond to do the things that he commands like receive the Lord's Supper the Creator's faith gift puts his son into our hands like Simeon held the baby Jesus Luke chapter 2 verses 25 through 32 that faith gift brings Jesus life into our hearts